Welcome, everyone. And thank Ladies you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chris Fuel. I was really excited. <laughs> it is so incredible to be back here in Detroit with the auto show outside. What a wonderful evening. The city of Detroit and the spirit of Detroit is really where this brand feels most at home. This Detroit icon is synonymous with the city itself, a city built on over 300 years of ingenuity, resilience, and determination. It's also, as any Detroiter will tell you, a vibrant music and art center. Just blocks from here is one of the nation's leading art and design colleges. In fact, many Stellantis automotive designers, including our own Ralph Gilles, are alumni. And this is Detroit Rock City, the home of Motown, the birthplace of techno with deep roots in gospel, rock, and rap. And of course, most importantly, this is the Motor City. Now, few cities in the world match the people, the history, the essence that makes this town magical. And it's this blend of spirit that the Chrysler brand has strived to build into each and every vehicle that we've rolled off the line for nearly 100 years. For nearly a century, the Chrysler brand has earned a reputation for delivering vehicles that break convention and create new segments. Vehicles that are more than transportation, they're extensions of their owners and amplify their personalities and their passions. From the introduction of the brand in 1924 with the Chrysler 6, to the iconic designs that have defined generations, to the creation of the minivan segment nearly 40 years ago, and to the Pacifica Hybrid, that was not only the first hybrid minivan, but the vehicle that started us on our electrification journey. We're excited to connect not only through technology and innovation, but through the emotion and passion in design and reflection. So what inspires memories of your favorite iconic Chrysler vehicle? Maybe it's the combination of luxury and performance when the banker's hot rod was first introduced in 1955 and was appropriately named 300 after the 300 horsepower output from its Hemi engine. Or the 63 turbine with, the, it, with its advanced propulsion system that unveiled the future of concept and experimental cars. For some of you, it was the Pacifica minivan that fit your family, your friends, and all of their carry-ons. Or the addition of a cleaner plug-in hybrid option that changed the game. Or it was when the Chrysler 300 made its return in 2005 as the modern interpretation of the 55 model. Wherever your core memory came from, it's clear this brand has celebrated this city with the vehicles that it's brought to market. And speaking of the 05 Chrysler 300, in hindsight, maybe its biggest impact on the car industry, other than the 1.2 million vehicles sold, was actually more of a movement. Why? Because when it debuted, it did more than speak to luxury car enthusiasts. It also called to creatives, artists, pop culture icons from very genre. It was noticed because the passion that went into the development of the Chrysler 300 could be seen in its sleek lines and felt in the rich interior. It stood out with features like Beats by Dre audio system and 20-inch wheels. And that car had pure and genuine swagger, one that inspired the customer to become a customizer and one that inspired luxury buyers to drive instead of being chauffeured. It was the game changer the designer hoped it would be. And I'll let him tell you more about it. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Head of Product Design, Ralph Shields. <laughs> wow, uh, it's kind of an emotional moment. <laughs> I have a little story. I was at a uh, thrift store the other day, 
and I saw the grill of a 300 sitting there <laughs> at the thrift store. I was like, wait a minute. You know, <laughs> so it, it was hitting me at that time how much time has passed, but how powerful that car is. You know, so as a designer, you don't necessarily set out to create an icon, and it's probably the most overused word in our industry. Uh, but I, it's safe to say this has become an icon. It's something much bigger than ourselves. Uh, I remember when we designed, we launched the car, I went to the, uh, the very first meetup. This was organic. There was only 100 cars in the parking lot. I wanted to understand why the owners loved the car so much, because the demographic was completely different than the picture we had on the, on the wall in the studios. They were much younger, much more uh, interested in the hot riding thing, and they also saw the car as a canvas. So that was terribly interesting to us. So, but looking back at the, the, the 55 300, it was truly the muscle car. Back then, we only made less than 2,000 of those, so it was exclusive. And that's what I've always loved about the Chrysler brand. It's always sitting there to upset the apple cart, to kind of do something a little bit offbeat. And that continued um, with the rest of the letter series. The 57, you can't see there, so think about it. The 57 Chevy was really, really popular. We built 2,400 of the, of the 57 300C uh, with 345 horsepower. So it's kind of, it was a letter to the, to the enthusiasts at the time. It was also embodying that flamboyant uh, space age era that was coming upon us, right? So as a kid designing, working on this car, I wanted to see, we wanted to understand how to capture that American spirit. You know, went to school up there, like uh, Chris said, at CCS, and we all fell in love with Detroit. I'd come here sight unseen from Canada, and immediately setting foot in Detroit, you could feel it. You could feel the history, the enthusiasm. Why had American cars become kind of something? Oh, it's an alternative to transportation. We wanted it to be the choice of transportation. So that's what that was about. Uh, so of course, it started with the big grill, you know, that, that can't miss it face. <laughs> you know? So it, it, uh, people made fun of it, honestly, when it came out. They're like, what the, what's up with that? Everything was going sleeker. You know, the 300M before it was kind of a kind of wind piercing design. So this was a blunt in your face product on purpose. So, next slide. And of course, like I talked about, the part we didn't expect, and it really went off the reservation, if you ask my opinion, and it's still going on to this day. Now we're seeing cars uh, get to second and third hand, and people are having fun. Even with the newest stuff, we're st still seeing this culture of customization, which we love. We love to see the, the, the people kind of, not just owning the car, loving the car, creating communities around it. And John Fortuno, you're over there. You understand this better than other. Anyone? Say hi. So he's the founder of the uh, LX Club, um, which really, I don't know how big it is now, thousands and thousands and thousands of, of not just 300 owners, but all the LX bodies. Uh, but it, they become family over this. So, you know, we never would have called it, and we will never forget it either. So next slide. This is just some pictures. The next one I love, uh, all as far away as, as Shanghai. <laughs> so this, this picture was taken uh, in China, where there's also this incredible... Uh, appreciation for the Detroit culture. Uh, even in Australia, they raced them. You know, they were, they were competition versions of the car. So there's something special going on here that we realize. So the performance factor of the 300 was always there. The panache of the car was always there. Um, so in 2012, when we redesigned it, we, we tried to kind of clean the car up a little bit, and we realized we might have kind of lost the plot, as they say. So come for the final version we, we did, we grew the grill back up. We had a little more fun with it, try to Im get that imposing feeling again. But we realized something, you know, that one of the most popular versions of car is the S model, is the perform performance model. And that's what today is all about, is kind of a letter uh, to our most, uh, I would say, enthusiastic owners. So we wanted to kind of end the story of the 300 where it all started. So with that, we're going to reveal today's treasure. <laughs> Thank you.
This is the 2023 Chrysler 300C. It's a celebration of world-class architecture, design, and performance. And it's a canvas of distinction and pride. It's one that's crafted to flaunt, and it's celebrating a strut and a, and a swagger that for the first time since 2014, it's equipped with a 6.4 liter Hemi that puts out 485 horsepower and 475 foot-pounds of torque. Now, I know our fans and enthusiasts are thrilled to hear this. Since this V8 went out of production, our social channels have been flooded with people asking us to bring this power train back. I'm telling you today, we heard you, and it's what's powering this special edition. The 23 model year 300C commemorates the impact this vehicle and this brand has had on the industry and the city of Detroit. And the 23 model year is a true celebration, not only because of the 6.4 liter Hemi, but because it's the last model for this generation of Chrysler 300. We crafted the 300C Special Edition with a focus on its stunning design and overall performance. It is the total package. It's the perfect combination of sophistication, swagger, and speed. And it's fully equipped outside and in. The 300C Limited Edition features unique badging, design accents, and special wheels and tires along with premium performance features that make every drive more thrilling. Now this 300C is available in just one configuration in all three exterior colors you'll see here. Bright white, gloss black, and velvet red. And the interior reveals pure style and comfort with black Laguna leather seats showcasing the 300C embossment Silver stitching that's matched by the leather IP. And doors featuring silver stitching and complemented by carbon fiber and piano black bezels. Of course, interior comfort, performance, safety, and security are also enhanced with standard heated and ventilated seats and heated steering wheel. A 19-speaker Harman Kardon audio system and the driver convenience group that features advanced brake assist, lane departure warning, and full speed collision warning. This 300C limited edition is a remarkable design and one that has a limited build. 2,200 vehicles will be produced for North America. And as we look forward, we're inspired to celebrate the achievements that have led us here today and that also helped to guide our future. In celebration of this icon, the 300C is available to pre-order today. The price point is $55,000 plus destination. Now, 2200 300Cs isn't a lot. If you want one, you need to head over to Chrysler.com and reserve yours now. Since we simplified the 300C offering, we're also able to streamline the shopping and the buying process. The new system takes three simple steps. Pick your color, pick your dealer, and submit your deposit. It is that easy. You see, the Chrysler brand is doing more than just designing and building the future of automobiles. We're taking a truly holistic approach to reshaping the complete ownership experience. And I'll touch on that a little bit more in a minute. Now, as we've seen the transformation of the Chrysler 300 from its original inception to what you just saw, it's apparent that from design to technology to innovation, the Chrysler brand has always driven the next generation forward. So what's next? Where do we go from here? Well, the Chrysler 300 nameplate isn't the only one that's been pulled from the archives. Our Chrysler Airflow concepts drew inspiration from a name that first appeared in 1935. The Airflow concept showcases all of our brand elements and technology to deliver modern mobility for the mainstream. 
but it's Chrysler's new persona, an overall experience that will draw you in and make you say, wow. And that experience starts at the very beginning. Because when you reinvent a brand, you can't only focus on the products. You have to completely rethink and reinvent the customer experience. And Chrysler is transforming the customer experience in collaboration with our customers. With Project Ingenuity, we're inviting customers to help us reinvent the buying process and the ownership experience, much like Ralph is doing with his internship program. In these customer-centric collaborations, we discuss their hopes and our goals for future innovations, services, and experiences. We've gained valuable insights on how we can simplify and reduce the time to complete the buying process, improve the digital tools and the information to help make that experience easier and more transparent and many other insights to remove those pain points and deliver delightful ownership experiences. Ingenuity has been a key brand ingredient for Chrysler since our introduction in 1924. And as we evolve, Ingenuity will be even more prominent. Now, sometimes the evolution will be significant, as in migrating toward full electrification. And sometimes the evolution will be more nuanced. For instance, before Pacifica arrived on the scene, we really looked at how our drivers were using their minivans. Yes, they loved the convenience of dual power sliding doors and entertainment systems that kept the kids occupied. But our drivers were also looking for simpler details to make everyday driving easier. So we added features like stow-and-go seating for increased seating and storage versatility, a built-in vacuum that instantly cleans up dropped snacks or remnants from the farmer's market so that you don't have to wait until you get home and get out your garage shop back. With a clear focus on ingenuity as the pinnacle of what Chrysler stands for today and in the future, we're driving innovative solutions forward in our products our services, and the end-to-end -end customer experience. We will be a catalyst for change in an industry that's ready for transformation. And we're truly excited about the future of Chrysler brand. And I'm also excited to introduce our head of Chrysler design, Irina Savatsky, who's completely dedicated to Chrysler from a design standpoint. While we accelerate ahead, we're thrilled to also reflect on our iconic 300 nameplate and bring our fans one more epic rendition, the 300C. Ladies and gentlemen, please come up and take a closer look. 